I'm Brandon Shope with the Wilmington Police Department, the Communications Specialist. Joining me right now, we have a very special guest here in our brand new studio here at the WPD. We've got Mr. Eddie Buffalo. He is the uh, Secretary for the North Carolina Department of Public Safety. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, it's good to be here. I mean, obviously, so today you're here for the uh, new virtual response unit. WPD is launching that. Uh, ha have you gotten a sneak peek of that yet? Hey, I think that's great innovation and great vision on behalf of Chief Williams and the staff here at Wilmington Police Department. It's innovative. Uh, it uh, maximizes your staff and, and puts officers in those situations that uh, we can protect our citizens a little bit better and uh, utilizing the allocation that he has. Excellent, sir. Now, obviously, you are a, a former chief of police, uh, no, no stranger, obviously, to the law enforcement profession. You've spent your career. Talk to me a little <laughs> bit about your career and congratulations on the new role. Yeah, I started my career as a correctional officer with the Department of, of Corrections back then, uh, some 30 years ago, and been blessed with this opportunity to be appointed as the DPS Secretary by, by Governor Cooper, and uh, this is my 30th year in law enforcement and public safety. Excellent. All right, so, so with that new role, sir, talk to me a little bit about uh, what your vision is for, you know, for uh, public safety here in the state. Well, my responsibility is not only the DPS secretary, but I'm the Homeland Security Advisor to the governor. So I'm here to pre prepare, prevent, and protect and safeguard the all citizens and infrastructure within North Carolina. And it's a collaboration with all 100 county sheriffs and all police departments in North Carolina to include uh, our community corrections and our um, adult corrections, juvenile justice, emergency management, Highway Patrol, State ALE, uh, all of those facets of public safety. So you've got a lot going on, right? Yes, sir. There's <laughs> a lot going on. All right, excellent. All right, so when it comes to southeastern North Carolina here, you know, in the Wilmington area, what are your, uh, your primary goals for, for, for our part of the state here? I think our primary goal with DPS is collaboration to make sure that we're prepared uh, when things of, of critical nature happen, whether it's a, a uh, natural disaster, man-made event, uh, violent crime activities to make sure that there's great collaboration among state, local, and federal partners. And uh, that's why I'm here today as a, as a collaborator and a partnership in, in this new innovative way of technology and to make sure policing is uh, thrust into the 22nd century. That's right. That's right. I like that. Well, sir, so obviously, you know, we're here at the tail end of the, the 2021 hurricane season. Uh, you know, when it comes to hurricane preparedness, um, I was talking with our chief of police about this. And, you know, he mentioned that, you know, it, we're always preparing. We're mm -hmm. always, you know, even in the off season. Uh, wh what do you hope to accomplish when it comes to hurricane preparedness, uh, you know, for next season in this year? I mean, know your zone. Uh, we put out a lot of information through DPS, and, uh, and I know uh, Chief Williams and the staff and the city of Wilmington and the county of New Hanover pushes a lot of information out to our public. Uh, as the chief alluded to, uh, preparedness is key, it's vital. Uh, as DPS has a know your zone, uh, we, we encourage people to look on the emergency management website and know their zone within southeastern North Carolina here and, and stay prepared and be prepared and be vigilant about it. Yes, sir. Okay, well, fantastic. So just a few more questions here for you, sir. When it comes to what you're most excited about in this new role, obviously, you know, you've been serving uh, the community, different communities throughout North Carolina um, for a long time. This is allowing you to do it in an even bigger way. Um, what are you most excited about? I'm excited about uh, putting uh, different ideas like here in Wilmington, the virtual call center. I'm excited about sharing that information, not just in southeastern North Carolina, but throughout all 100 counties to, to talk about new collaboration and partnership ways to make our citizens safe, our 10.4 million people that live in North Carolina. And so I'm excited about that opportunity to collaborate with law enforcement and public safety across this state. Yes, sir. Well, well, that's that's going to be a, a great thing for sure. And, and when it comes to, you know, the Wilmington Police Department, what do you, you know, obviously Chief Donnie Williams has a, a great vision, you know, for our department here in Wilmington. 
What do you see, you know, about WPD maybe that could be used in other departments around the state? I mean, you know, I, I feel like uh, the department here has a, is a model department, really. I mean, I think they're, they're one of the great departments in North Carolina, and I think Chief Williams has a vision mm -hmm. uh, to take it to the next level and think outside of the box, as we used to say. And, and that thinking outside the box always have uh, the public in mind, a, a service uh, mentality, a service attitude, and a grateful heart. And not only the public, but having his staff in mind as well as he brings these new ideas uh, to Wilmington to, to, to thrust y'all into, again, the 22nd century to be innovative and, and uh, keeping Wilmington and people in Wilmington and New Hanover County safe. Excellent. Well, former Chief Buffalo, now Secretary of Buffalo, sir. Anything else you'd like you know the community here to know? No, I appreciate the opportunity to be in New Hanover County today in the city of Wilmington and, and look forward for great things in the future and anything that DPS can do to, to aid in those efforts. Please give us a call. Yes, sir. Well, thank you again, sir, for joining us. I really do appreciate no, it. Thank you. Thank you.